Mission! Let's go. Let's do this. We're not saving, we just saved. I'm not doing that again. Combat with bows. Hmm. Let's go. North of the Great Bridge of Murden, the Imperial Army passes through the Allied territory of House Gloucester and invades the land of House Regan, which leads the opposition. They move to attack Claude in the capital, Deirdre, where the leader of the Alliance awaits their arrival. Okay, so I don't think Claude has many members left. Like, and I wiped out basically all his people. Go away. Okay, so what we've got for this map. Do we have any chests? Pampos shield, you say? Ooh. Um, some warriors. I do not want to fight you, Hilda. Like, I really don't. Hmm. What's the objective? Just defeat the enemy. I might see if I can ignore Hilda. Has he only got Hilda? Is that... Is that his only big unit? Yeah, his only big unit's Hilda. I don't want to fight her. Alright, so we won't need Anna. We're going to put this here on. Alrighty. Go. Here she comes at long last. I've done all I can to prepare. Let the cards fall where they may. It'll be a true test of strength. You've got like three other units you haven't used yet. It seems Claude has blockaded the city and occupied the naval port. <laughs> if that is the case, he will have no choice but to engage us from there. Yes. Though putting myself in Claude's place leaves me with an unpleasant feeling. If we take over the port and close the entry to the city, Deirdre will be under our control. Each soldier should bear that in mind as they advance. There are three gates which connect Deirdre to its naval port. Taking the city will be easy once we secure all three. Enemies are meeting alliance reinforcements in front of the gates. I have to defeat them in, when they're in the, in the gates, huh? Alright. So. What's my dudes. strategy? We'll fight the axe dudes. Is that a dude? That one's not. He's got Gremory? Oh, this is gonna suck. I can't put any of my main, main units that are zip and immune. I do this for all of us. 
Put me in there. Let's make this quick. Yes. Warp somewhere. He doesn't have great res. Who, who has good res? Bro. I never got it. If this, what's her gambit? Her gambit stride. So maybe if we do this, the gambit stride. This way. Uh, I mean you ready for anything. You're right up front. More fighting. Right on there. With yeah, steel lance is fine. Him with Banshee. Ass. Now it's our turn, Almira's elite. Strike the flanks of the Imperial Army. Oh. Those fangs and claws the Alliance fears so much will now be their salvation. Leave it to us, kiddo. My undefeated streak will live on. Another chapter in my heroic saga. No, it won't. That flag and banner. Is that the Almiran army? Oh, you really did it, Claude. This is no ruse. That is Nadir, an Almiran general. Take care of them quickly, especially those Almiran wyverns. You can just cause 33 in damage. Okay. Watch and learn. Here is something to believe. This could turn the tides. Umbra. I'll use this power for. One day the war will be over. If I live, I fight. Okay. So, what we got here? Bodoots. What do you do? Stuff you do. Hmm. I'm just gonna wreck you for. Everyone. Might send Ferdinand around with you. I have three units attacking her right now. I just one. It's fine. I'm um, awake. A great one. Uh -oh. 
Beat the Gremory. Christ, these Gremories are powerful. It was meant to be. Enforcements keep coming. We should try to eliminate Nadir. Oh, don't worry. I'll get there. You don't have to worry about that. Back. Banshee. Kill. How did that miss? You have to die. Maya is the only one that could hurt him. Yeah, and you can't just reverse it. Oh, no, no. Uh, Put me in there. For everyone. Yeah, it is. For the Empire. Metal Guard should just be able to go. Zap. For the fate of Foden. Yep, that's fine. Alright, these mooks. Ready for anything. I will not back down one step. Yeah. A boon for our future. Go away, archers. Seriously, go away. You are in my way. Witness Bridget Pride. I'm awake. Who's the heal? Anyone? Correct. Yep. Do. Sorry, three is not amazingly useful, but. Let's make this quick. Assist. Warp bro. Uh. Yeah. What's my strategy? Just punch him in the face. It's over. Ah! Another victory. I think I've got to put one unit on each of them squares. More fighting. That's fine. Well done, Hubert. Well done, bro. To kill is to grow stronger. Yeah, I don't like that you're constantly respawning. I don't appreciate that. 
I do this for all of us. Hmm. No more archers. But it'll guard on a heart on a dragon again. Used stride, so I can just run straight up with that kill there. How strong is Hilda? Apparently not strong enough. Where's the healer boy? Yep, that'll do. Alright. Where can she move? Can I move one to my forward? Move her there. Dance. Is Felix enough move to run up and cause some damage? All right, next. Hold on. If the uh, you should be able to survive at least one hit, so that's fine. Hey, Hilda. You didn't forget about me, did you? Maybe you should just let me go. It's been fun, Claude. Sorry to go so soon. Hilda! Why didn't you retreat? I counted on you retreating. That is because you're a douche. If you don't want to risk him dying, don't send him in in the first place. I need them got bows. No, so I can use my dragon again. just ran from the left and ignored Hilda the entire time. I don't think he can get her out anyway. Stop spawning dragons. Don't approve. Use just a spear. Yeah, suck this. Going to plan. Lamp shield negates. I need to give that to for you. Make you significantly hard to kill. Encouraging display. I 
will see this war through. No. Uh, my physics I left. Seven. Can use a few. Thank you. Battle does have its benefits. So we use that, that's that. Arch up out the top. I suck both of them. Yeah, do it. No gas right there. Alright. Let's see up here. Yep. It's been 30 odd years since I first set foot on a field of battle. Here's a taste of my undefeated strength. Don't think less of me for this. You're possible, you're trying to use a gambit on me. Hope you're ready. Yeah. Who's next? Get in line. Dragons. Very nice. I owe you one. Really, that's not even going to be enough. All right. Uh, push strikes. I'll do. Why do you withdraw, but Hilda can't? Why? It's dumb. I'm continuing to improve. Uh, don't really that. You've done enough, Nadir. Just stay alive. We'll meet again one day. Dude, is your squad irrelevant to you? the Almiran forces to flee. I doubt they're expecting more reinforcements. I bet they are. Sithia over there. Yeah. I'm just gonna kill this archer. Bro, okay. That is a lot of archers. Felix at full health. That's Barry though. A boon for our future. Very 
I live, I fight. Everything I've done has led to this. What does Aegis do? Wow, Ferdinand is just like unbeatable. Hmm. I think she'll be fine because she's got the Aurora shield on. Now the bows shouldn't cause the most damage to her anymore. them well we don't have the guts to resist anymore here you can have this just please don't attack the city i never planned to touch the city our target is the alliance and their leader claude increase res those bro need res Tried. Banana Garden with Caspar. Won't he's not there? Oh, with actual mage powers. I find that. You are gonna go over here. I don't know if there's any significance. These bridges, but we'll burn it out of there. Alright, that's that done. Healer boy. Who needs heal? Do. Thank you. Moment of truth. How good is the Aurora shield? Will it protect her? Yes, it will. Is that all? Run, brother. Handsome, bro. Run, bro, again. Train for fun. No time for accolades. Oh, Patrick had that Claude from here, so yeah. No time for pity. Greatness awaits me. Bernan, you've basically always been great. Well, not. At the beginning, you really sucked. But for quite a while, you've been great. The only possible outcome. I tried to give you some buffs. Just in 
guess. We'll run some units in in case we need to attack Claude next turn. That should do it. We haven't seen each other since Garrick Mach. You've grown lovelier than ever, Edelgard. You're not so unfortunate yourself. And as usual, you're here at a most inopportune moment. Well, I'm sure we have much to talk about. But how about we settle things first? No objections here. Prepare yourself, Claude. Yeah! You're weak! Seems right. Use the aim here against you. Enough. You've bested me. If I die here, the Alliance becomes part of the Empire. Do you yield then? You've never known when to give up. Well, I can't just surrender so easily. I'm responsible for the others. If you're as smart as you seem, I bet you figured out why I was able to summon Almyra and reinforcements. Wouldn't it be better to let me go and have me in your debt? Hmm, so I've just been weighing up options. Should I? Uh... There's no benefit really to killing him, is there? Thank you, Professor. And you, Edelgard. I'm truly grateful for your courageous decision. I will return your kindness one day. I promise. I bet you don't own this game, though. Everybody, raise your voices in a victory cheer. Deirdre is ours. Like, Claude isn't specifically evil. He's just doing what he has to do to protect his people. I'm not, I'm not going to kill him for that. Hey, Teach. Claude. Settle down, will you? You're the victor, after all. I could have escaped, but I decided to say hi to Teach. Nothing to worry about. Deirdre has fallen and the Alliance has collapsed. See, I wouldn't have these good conversations if he was point. dead. You want me to drop my guard around someone who evaded detection by my soldiers? Impossible. Did you really risk coming here just to say hello? I did. But mostly, I wanted to say goodbye. I'm leaving Fodlin. I dare say Fodlin would be a lot more peaceful without me around. Right, Your Majesty? It's as you say. So long as you remain here, the faction of the Alliance that is against the Empire will continue to support you. Too true. It's best if I leave this place altogether. I'll just have to find some other way to pay back my debt to you. All I ask is that you go easy on the Alliance. After all, no one there would dare defy you now. And please, treat my former classmates well. I've asked them to cooperate with you if I lost. What? Wait, did your scheming include a plan for if the Alliance lost? If I get some team members after this, I would be incredibly pissed off. <laughs> uh, you think too highly of me. It just seems that way now. Outside of Deirdre, most of the Alliance is unscathed and ready to join your superior strength. In all honesty, I was hoping to become a supreme ruler and lead Fodlin to peace myself. But that won't be happening now. Claude. Good luck to you, Edelgard. We crushed him in battle, and yet... Uh, he really is difficult to understand. We did. We absolutely crushed him. Lady Edelgard, Deirdre is now completely under our control. As planned, the Alliance's affairs will now be overseen by Count Burglis. My father is coming here? First west, then east. You sure keep him busy. Should the others return to the monastery and prepare to face the kingdom? 
Yes, thank you, Hubert. Thanks to all of your efforts, our battle with the Alliance has reached its conclusion. However, we still can't afford to be careless. We must now join the battle against the Kingdom. With the strength of the Church on their side, they will prove to be a formidable enemy. More than ever, your support is invaluable. We'll need it in the days to come. But for now, let's enjoy our triumphant return. Let's get to it! I'm so happy that the end of the fighting is near. Too bad there's still more violence to come. The Kingdom and the Church of Saros are worthy for fighting. I will crush them into very small pieces. Crushing wouldn't yield a lot of pieces, but I guess it would get the job done. With the Professor, we can't lose. Probably. Oh no. Are we fighting Lady Rhea? But she's scary. And she'll be really angry. We've beaten her before. But we were a lot weaker than we are now. But no way she can stay in her spooky beast form all the time, right? Oh, we're acknowledging that now, are we? That she has a spooky beast form. If she could, she would have come and attacked the monastery as many times as she wanted. It may be wishful thinking. But perhaps it is a power that she can only access when the situation is dire. But whether she is the Archbishop or the Immaculate One, we cannot be stopped. Is the Immaculate One a title or just a person? Half remains, but half is finished. We are so she does look very similar to how Seros looks. <laughs> no one can stop us from pushing forward. No one. Like I'm saying that because it won't be surprising if the her and Seros are the same person. Part 2. Crimson Flower. Pegasus Moon. Tempest of Swords and Shields. With Daredru under Imperial control, the Leicester Alliance ceases to exist, and its remaining lords ally themselves with the Empire. The Black Eagle Strike Force, having now conquered all of Eastern Fodlan, confidently moves to invade the Kingdom. And that concludes Count Vergles's report. Just as Claude said, the old alliance has willingly fallen under Imperial rule. However, knowing him, there is no telling what manner of poison could be waiting within. We must be careful not to expose any weakness. Of course, though it seems we can now attack the kingdom without issue. True. However, you should know that Lord Arendel has entered Deirdre. It would seem he has already started collecting the relics of the old alliance. Let him do as he pleases for now. It's not yet the time to chide him. Hmm, it might be. Understood. As for the kingdom, as we theorized, it is not entirely united. If we defeat the royal family of House Blathed, and a handful of other notable houses, it should fall under our control quite readily. Those we must target include the houses Fraldarius, Galatea, Gautier, and Karen. We have allies who are close to some of those lords. Perhaps that can be used to our advantage. Persuasion by tears or threats. Perhaps one would consent to act as a hostage. We must make good use of the tools given to us. What about House Row in Arian Road, the fortress city? Will they not side with us? The head of House Fraldarius, Lord Rodrigue, has entered the city. It is possible that he has seized it. I see. Then it might prove too difficult to strike Ferdiad right away. Either way, when preparations are complete, we can begin our deployment into the kingdom. That part of the plan remains unchanged. Professor, is something wrong? Yeah, many of them are new to me. Yes, I don't imagine that you have much interest in a running list of noble names. But it matters not. 
The nobility and the weight of all those names will be gone once the war is over. This month, we must again put all of our effort into preparing for battle. I'm counting on you, my teacher. Professor, you didn't hear anything just now, did you? <laughs> Cute! Huh. Well, be that as it may, it is not your concern. It was nothing. <laughs> Let's just keep going away. You seem to be trying your hardest to infuriate me. Don't you dare say that again. It's just... Uh, well, there was a rat. I don't enjoy the company of rats. I believe I've told you about this before. About when I was held captive beneath the palace. There were a lot of rats there. To this day, I just... What? Oh, Professor, leave here at once. I recall now that Hubert needs to speak with me. I must change my clothes. Now, whatever you do, don't look this way. Ah, uh, then forget what you saw. That's an order. Oh, she can be adorable sometimes. Hanuman's birthday. You just get flowers a lot like you. I don't know why. He just doesn't... He hasn't grown on me. Hmm... And then one after that. What the hell is insurmountable darkness beneath the sky and foreign lands and sky? Oh, those. Oh, I need to do all three of these. Have to. So two of these have to be combat missions. I'll use this one and maybe this one. I don't really care about rare monster sightings, but um, no, that's got that's got harvest festival. But we don't even use those anymore. Hmm. Marketplace. Item shop. Buy. Oh, oh boy. I can't buy any more master seals. That is incredibly inconvenient. Is it going on to the next, uh, you know what I mean, zone? More weapons are basically the same, right? Do I need these reset? They haven't reset. So that means I have to finish this month with the amount of master seals I have. Right. So we're going to do some battles here. Possibly battles here. I'm going to use this one for preparation then. It's Golden Fish and Harvest Festival. Don't massively matter. Yeah, so these are going to be battles. Cool. Nope. Oh. guard, Caspar. Dorothea and Caspar as well. And Weller and Edelgard. In 44 minutes of this session, so. I'll oh, we'll just finish off with these. What's wrong, Edelgard? Hmm? Why do you ask? You always look at me funny, but right now you're looking at me more... normal. <laughs> you can seem rather oblivious, but then you go and shock me with your keen insight. Whoa, it's a little harsh. Is it? You only have yourself to blame for the reputation. As for me, I've always thought of you as something of a victim. What is that supposed to mean? I mean, you're a victim of Fodlin's antiquated system of nobility. 
You're skilled and you work hard, yet you still play second fiddle to your less capable older brother. Even still, you fight on, not allowing yourself to be discouraged by it all. People like you help to fuel my fire. If I can only smash this rotten system, I could save you. You've always got a whole lot to say about your grand plans for the future. Just hear me out. I've realized that I was wrong about you. I can now see that you've found a way to live the life you want to live. Simply put, you love working hard and you love training. You don't know the meaning of surrender. I never thought such a genuine person could really exist. That's a lot to take in. You're not too far off, though. I try to live life the way I want to. I wasn't that way when we first met, but I've changed since then. Nowadays, what you see is what you get. It doesn't matter that you have burdens to bear. Despite that, you never stray from your path. You don't let anything tie you down. I can hardly imagine a life like that. To be honest, I'm a bit jealous. Well, I don't think I could live the way you do, but I admire you for sticking to it. You never let your burdens get you down. You try to push through them instead. If I'm being honest, I changed my mind about you a while back. Is that so? You can be real critical of yourself, and you admit it when you make a mistake. That's true. I certainly make mistakes, but I feel it's important to own up to them. I probably make twice as many mistakes as you, but I don't notice half of them. <laughs> this is no laughing matter, Kaspar. Then again, that's part of how you choose to live as well, isn't it? That it is. But it doesn't change what I promised before. I'm gonna keep fighting for you, Edelgard. Even if we don't live our lives the same way, I'll help cut a path through so you can follow safely behind. <laughs> I don't doubt it. The future is ours, Kaspar. I'm counting on you to help clear the way. That's a nice sweet one. Look at him, Manuela. Professor Manuela, may I come in? Uh, this room, what, what happened here? Oh, nothing out of the ordinary. Why, is something the matter? No, I just... Uh, can I help you tidy up? Uh, actually, I have to know. How did you make such a mess in the first place? Please don't ask for the details. Suffice to say, my room always looks like this after I've been dumped. Ooh, oh, we haven't brought right. up the relationships in a while. Well, let's see what we can do about it. Your help was unexpected, but appreciated, Edelgard. Now... What can I do for you? I heard that you haven't been acting like yourself, so I came to see if you're doing all right. But the moment I saw you, I could tell you were troubled, so it seemed pointless to ask. I suppose it was rather obvious, wasn't it? Perhaps I should stop being quite so dramatic. All the same, dear, I'd like to repay you for helping me out. Name your prize. I don't need a reward. But if you wouldn't mind answering my question, I'd greatly appreciate it. Of course! What is it? I once asked you why you chose to retire. You said that the goddess supports you emotionally, but it's up to you to take care of the rest. I have to admit that I don't quite understand what you meant by that. Did I say that? <laughs> I suppose so. From joining the Middle Funk Opera Company to becoming a diva of the grand stage. I went through so much to achieve what I did. <sighs> Looking back, I don't know how I made it. What happened during that time? A lot. My divinely gifted voice only got me to the edge of the stage. From there, I had to work hard to defeat my rivals. I did all of this by myself, through sheer force of will. All so I could stand center stage. Ah, I see I was wrong about something. I thought that being a devout believer implied a certain weakness of spirit, an inability to survive on your own. But you've proven me wrong, Professor Manuela. Okay, last one. Caspar and Dorothea. Caspar has got almost every single one of his ears. That Shamir and Byleth. Cool. Hey, 
Caspar, care to join me for tea? Again? Well, let's make it quick. I gotta get some training in eventually. More training? Don't you get tired of it? No, I don't get tired of working toward my goals. Unlike you. Me? What do you mean? Your quest for the perfect husband. I haven't seen you wasting time with any dull-looking guys lately. Yeah, no, I ain't either. Oh, that. Maybe I just found something worth staying in for. You mean in the monastery? This place is a dump compared to what it was five years ago. That's not what I'm talking about. Honestly, Caspar, you don't understand women at all. Well, excuse me. Maybe I'm just another dull guy. That must be why you don't pick up on how I feel. Uh, what? When I'm around you, I feel like... Well, like I can always be myself. We're doing shipping again, game. I don't need to act differently or flirt or lie. If you're not going to let me do dating simulator, do not let them speak this way to each other. I always said you were little brother material, but... When we're alone like this, the idea of marriage... Nope. Hold it right there. Uh, I'm going to need a minute. I was not ready for this. Caspar, settle. You might be getting the wrong idea. I was only saying, when I'm with you like this, I can forget all about marriage and just be friends. Huh? Uh, right. Of course. Though I suppose relationships like that can also lead to marriage. Now I know you're messing with me. I'm not trying to tease. I was just thinking out loud. If neither of us ever find our special someone, it might not be so bad to settle down and spend the rest of our lives together. What do you think? I haven't really thought about that. I'm not really the romance type. Spending the rest of my life with you doesn't sound so bad, though. But why are we even talking about this? There's no way you won't find someone great. Stranger things have happened. Either way, no point in worrying about it now. I'm plenty happy with our current situation. Let's just focus on staying good friends. Good idea. Here's to us. You're not gonna let me play the Wi-Fi simulator. Don't mess around with me. Oh, Berthia's only got 37 health. Yeah, Bernadetta needs XP. Maybe it's because she can't move very far. Hmm. Uh, 